This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this low-poly portrait effect using Adobe Illustrator. And before we get started, if you'd like to sharpen your logo design skills, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy. It's an 18-part video series where I outline my entire creative process for coming up with logo ideas from start to finish. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Illustrator, as you can see I have the document open. I just want to set up a few things here so that we're working with a similar workflow. I'm going to come up here to where it says View, and I'm going to turn off Snap to Pixel. In fact, the only thing I want enabled from this View menu up here is Snap to Point. We're going to need that for the duration of this tutorial. And I think that should do it for, uh, for this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my example photo, which I have opened up over here on my other monitor. I'm just going to click and drag that into Illustrator. And let me center it up on the page, and I'm going to make this a little bigger by clicking and dragging and then holding Shift and Alt like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this on its own layer, and I'm going to lock that layer, and then I'm going to create a new layer on top of that where we're going to create our portrait. So let me open up the uh, Layers window. I'll come over here to where it says Window. I'm going to look for Layers. There we go. We have a little flyout window right there. I'm going to create a new layer on top of this, so I'm going to click this little button down here that says Create a New Layer. And I'm going to come down here to the original layer where the photo is, and I'm going to click this little gray box in here to lock that so that we can't move that around and adjust it while we're working. And then I'll activate the top layer because this is where we're going to put our drawing. So to do this, it's just a matter of grabbing the pen tool. You can just press P on the keyboard to grab that. And I'm going to zoom in over the subject here by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel a few times. And if you want to move the page around like I'm doing here, you can just press down the space bar and click and drag the mouse. What I'm going to do is, oops, didn't mean to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create polygonal shapes going within the subject here. Now I'm going to undo what I just did there because I don't want this white fill happening while I'm doing this. So let me hit Control Z a few times. Where it says the fill color up here, I'm just going to click this red X so that there's no fill and we have a black stroke. So let me do that again. Click to create another shape like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a triangle. It could just be random you know, polygonal shapes like that. And now I'm going to create another shape alongside it. But if you notice, when you go to click on this node right here to snap the cursor to it, it's going to actually delete the node if you click on that. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to hold Shift and then click on it. And now it will allow you to create a new shape in addition to that. So let me snap to that corner, come back here. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go through here and create some more shapes. Maybe I'll do something like this right here. Again, holding Shift so we don't delete the corner. Snap this here, snap that there, and then back to the starting point. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the entire image here and create polygonal shapes going through the subject. And one thing I'd like to point out is, whoops, one thing I'd like to point out is when you're going around the subject here, make sure to create your shapes going around certain uh, certain traits like the eyebrow here. I'm, I'm creating shapes going around the eyebrow because we're going to be coloring these in based on a sample selection of the subject beneath the shapes. So just go ahead and create polygons around the distinct features of the subject here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and create these shapes real quick. Okay, so as you can see here, I have finished creating my shapes. Now it is time to color them in. So I'm going to grab the Select tool, and I'm going to zoom in over here. I'm going to grab this shape right here, and I'm going to grab the dropper, which is uh, the letter I on the keyboard. I would recommend using these keyboard shortcuts because you'll be toggling back and forth between these tool tools a lot. So press I on the keyboard and grab a selection of that, and there you go. Let me move over. Let me toggle back to the Select tool by pressing V. Select that. Press I. There you go. Back to V for the select tool, I for the dropper, there you go. And you just go through and do the same thing with the rest of these objects.
Okay, so as you can see here, I have finished up filling in all of the different objects here on my design. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the visibility of the bottom layer here, the image layer. And as you can see, we are finished. That is how you can go about creating these low poly portraits using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.